what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Racism is so American that when you protest it, people think you're protesting America. I saw that on a meme a while back. So poignant, so correct. There's a lot of things that have changed in America throughout the years. You can look at technology. There's a lot of things that have been erected and destroyed. Look at buildings, you know, from schools, hospitals. Look at train stations, airports, bridges, stadiums. They come, they go. Churches, mosques. They all come, they go. Oftentimes, they change their philosophies along the way to accommodate time. There's one mainstay in America that has not changed. Racism. Ooh, we. They love that racism, boy. They love it. Joe Biden has not been declared the victor yet as of the recording of this video. However, if he is to win, it says a lot about how close the race was. These dudes are neck and neck. Joe Biden ain't no angel. Okay, let's get that out of the way. He was not the perfect candidate. Some might even argue he wasn't even a good candidate. But for some reason, he emerged as the front runner, the Democratic nominee, up against the Tangerine Tornado, the Orange Man, the Demander and Thief, Mr. Twitter Fingers. One of the most vile, dishonest, lying, thieving crooks to ever walk into the White House. That says a lot considering America has actually had presidents who owned slaves. Trump just wants to own some slaves, but We've actually had presidents that owned slaves, not just that. At one point, the majority of Congress owned slaves. Yeah, that's a little part of the history that they don't talk about. Well, they ain't gonna speak on that. That's why it took so long. Well, that's a big reason why it took so long to abolish slavery. The damn people that's writing the laws that have to sign off on it, own slave, they're benefiting from slavery. Not just them. Every major institution in America benefited from slavery. The banks, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. You look at Princeton, Harvard, they all own slaves. The banks took slaves as collateral. You default on your loan, instead of the bank repoing your car, they take a human being. They take possession of a human being. Education system benefited from slavery. The hospitals benefited from chattel slavery. 
the oil industry benefited. The clergy, every single major institution in American society benefited from slavery. So when you talk about slavery, don't just think those people down south. Oh yeah, up north, east, west, if it was in America, there were people who benefited from it. There were business people who benefited, town, whole towns that benefited from slavery. See, a lot of those cities and states up north, they like to try to wash their hands to it like they didn't have anything to do with it. They all played a role. This is why it took so long, fam. When you look at the people who went out there and voted, many of these people say, well, you know, all 62,000 people that voted for Trump can't be racist. 62 million people that voted for Trump can't be racist. You know, they can't be racist. Let's say they aren't racist. But racism damn sure ain't a deal breaker for them. So they still ain't about shit. Including the black ones. Because yes, there are some out there who have stated, I don't care if Donald Trump don't like black folks. Gonna help me out with my taxes. Fam, I just never been like that. I never been cut like that. You know, I just feel like, I feel like if, if you don't know what you will do for money, you better know what you won't do for money. And if you don't know what you won't do for money, if you don't have a, like a strong conviction in that regards, you'll do anything. Oh yeah. You would do anything. And many of them have done anything, including getting on the floor, on the ground, sucking up dudes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them get down like that to get to the bag. A lot of people sell their soul to get to the bag. I can't do it. You know how they say you can lie to some people, but you can't lie to yourself? That's me. I can't lie to myself. I can't look into the mirror and appreciate my life. I was a sucker like that. I couldn't do it. You gotta be able to stand for something, man, or you fall for anything. America is as racist as any country that ever existed. America leads the way in racism. America has a strong, like, I mean, lives all day, every day. It's like racism is like an energy. And for those who have that type of mindset, it's like without racism, they ain't nothing. I mean, to me, they're nothing anyway, but I'm talking about the way they perceive themselves. In their minds, if they ain't got racism, if they can't use it, to try to belittle others, hold other people back, make somebody else's life miserable. When they wake up, they have no reason to get up. They have no reason to go, go about their day because they ain't got racism to use as a crutch. Like anything that happens in their life, bad, they can just blame it on racism. You know, it makes them feel good. It's something in that little sick ass peewee brain that makes them think that because of the skin color or something, that they're better somehow, like a better human being. I wish that I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. It's disgusting. You don't have to go down south to experience racism in America. Once you leave your little metropolitan cluster in whatever so-called progressive city that you're in, 
quick little old trip to the suburbs in any direction, you'll see him. You'll see him. And here's another thing to think about. Trump at this moment has 2 million more popular votes than he had in 2016. That should tell you everything you need to know about the trajectory of this country and the people who live in it. No more talk. What the haters talking about?